What's good everybody, it's Sam Terzo back here again with another review and I'm going to toss you something a little different. I know I do a lot of Myers on my uh, channel, but uh, I got a different piece here and it's unique and it's been reviewed before by Magnus. And funny thing is, this is Magnus's saw piece before he sold it off to a good friend of mine and I acquired it. But uh, this is Rain Man's saw. And there are 15 of these in the world. And I absolutely love the piece. I think there is nobody that can do, that can beat a saw piece right now. Uh, I think this is absolutely the best one. Uh, and it is actually probably the only one I've seen. Uh, now, there are some ups and downs to this piece, I will admit. But overall, as a package, I'm very, very fucking happy. Now, <clears throat> this set originally came with a Billy, the bike. Uh, but it was broken up, so I did not acquire it, but I was just glad enough to get the figure and certain accessories that came with it, such as the, you know, the book that it came with that shows the figure off, the poster in the back, the COA, and this fucking piece of pure art, which I will get into, and these other things. Now, the base is custom. I made that because I didn't have a... A base that came with it so i was like oh, i gotta make a bloody base because one thing about this figure i think it's a little too clean but at the same time you know it, it, it's a good look you got the pig mask and this is i think the only way that it should really only be displayed because this pig mask is absolutely beautiful the paint really looks like pig skin the blood is perfect the blood tears look at it from down here the different tones on the nose on the snout the hair now, here's one of the nitpicks I have. The locks look plastic. It's cheaply painted. Uh, the red paint looks like paint, doesn't look like blood. So that was a uh, 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 uh for me. The chain is nice. I wish it was a little bit uh, weathered. Let me see. Let me show you if I can show you that lock. Uh, here we go. It's focusing somewhere else. But it just does not look like a true lock to me. It doesn't look realistic. <clears throat> But this piece of art, I think, steals the show. It's the Hidden Blade, done by uh, Full Metal Customs, I believe. And this thing is pure art. I'm going to lift it up, but you got to be very gentle. It's so fragile. Look at that artwork. All metal. I believe the blade actually slides back a little bit, but I'm not going to attempt it. It Velcros on to the arm. And this right here really is why I say nobody else could really make this set again. Because, I'll fix that later. Who can do something like that? That's insane. The saw that it comes with is good. It's real metal. And it's a great addition. Uh, this foot right here. It was a, it was a lot eh, for me. I mean, it looks good, but the paint is a little weak. And the foot sculpting is actually good. I just think the paint was a little weak on it. So that's why, why it was a little bit of a pass for me. And then I'll show you the Kramer sculpt. The Kramer sculpt is amazingly painted, but it's a little off for me. This is why I have the pig mask displayed. But nonetheless, it's a really amazing sculpt. I'm just nitpicking here at this point. But come on, you got to display it with the pig mask. Look into those dull, dull eyes. You know, it's just black. It's great. All right, guys. That was my saw piece by Rayman. I got 14 out of 15. And I was just very happy to pick up this set, even though, you know, because most of these sets have found their permanent homes. And these things go for big money. And they don't sell very often. And when they do, it's usually behind closed doors. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.